everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and I am on a journey of transformation, discovery, and self-love. And I would love for you to join me on that journey, so come on. Hey everybody, how, you're, how are you doing? It is Thursday night here when I'm filming. It's the end of my week. My weekend starts on Friday, so I am filming my What I Ate This Week video. And I am here showing you off my new glasses. What do you guys think? Do you like them? They're really different than anything that I have um, worn before. And just want to show you guys. What do you think? Is it good? You like it? Uh, I'm gonna take it off because the glare from the ring light is a little annoying to me. But um, yeah, so I'm here to film my what I ate in a week video to check out the food I ate this week to see how it nourishes me, sustains me, how I feel. I have to say, I, it's been hard this week. You know, um, if you saw my, my Way on Wednesday video on Wednesday, um, I'm kind of in this plateau for the last three weeks and it's starting to get to me and it's starting to affect me emotionally and um, it's a battle to make good food choices. There are, have been a couple days where I have been very, I haven't, I have not fallen off the wagon um, with food, but it's been hard, so. Um, temptation has been real. It's been real, but I've, I've fought the good fight. I keep going. I'm making good food choices still. And you'll see in my, um, in this video, what I ate this week. So no real, I had one real new recipe. I made this, um, turkey meatloaf on Monday. It was okay. It was kind of dry. I used almond flour, um, as the, um, binder instead of breadcrumbs. Not it was okay. It wasn't. It wasn't that interesting. I wouldn't make it. Um, ravioli. I tried a different. I did the keto ravioli again. I tried a different cheese than last time. Really didn't like it. The cheese was too thick and rubbery. Stick with mozzarella. And let's see. The rest of the meals this week were tried and true, family favorites. Um, oh no, I did try a new. Um, well, it's not. It is a family favorite. I made um, paprika chicken, which I've made before, and I usually make with potatoes or with pasta or something, and I made it with cauliflower rice, and it was really yummy. I made that Thursday night, so you'll see that in the video. So let's get to these meals and find out what I ate this week. Here we go. <laughs> Good morning. It's uh, Saturday, and what time is it? about nine a little bit after nine and i'm making breakfast and so we're gonna start with bacon eggs and keto bread for breakfast today of course and my coffee and the bacon in the oven all right so i'm trying a new recipe for breakfast this is the keto rewind uh keto bread she's another youtuber and it was pretty amazing here is the bread out of the microwave and let it cool and we're gonna cut it into fourths. I'm missing a little corner there. It's got, gotta get to when you get to. Yep, so we're gonna toast these in the oven. If you have a toaster oven, that would work. I just don't wanna try the toaster because it's really kind of fragile. And I think we get, we're gonna get a better toast in the oven. So I'm gonna stick it in the oven for a couple of minutes. All right, here is the breakfast. And you know what, I didn't actually eat all that breakfast. I only ended up having two slices of bacon and half of that bread. Um, it was just really filling. And dinner was just a really simple hamburger on a salad with some blue cheese crumbles and that bacon I didn't eat in the morning. I had it for dinner with my lunch, a little blue cheese. Love some blue cheese. Actually, it doesn't look like a lot, but it was a really good dinner. It is Sunday afternoon and I'm having a big salad for lunch. My favorite salad. All right, here is the keto lasagna. Oh, no, no, ravioli. And that is provolone and it looks really nice. I like the method of this different recipe, but I did not like the texture of the melted provolone. Did not, was not nearly as good as the mozzarella and here's it's plated, it looks really nice. And that, I couldn't even finish all of that. That was way too much. I ate about half of that um, for dinner on Sunday night.
Hi there, it's Monday afternoon, about almost one o'clock, my first meal of the day. I've had my coffee, my hair is drying, that's why I look so like this. <laughs> and I'm just getting some lunch, so let's see what we're eating for lunch today. All right, so here is lunch today. I'm gonna have tuna, and I was just weighing the mayonnaise on my scale there. I'm gonna have tuna with an egg and some mayonnaise and some salt and pepper. These are my mayonnaise. Very protein rich, fat rich lunch. And I'm gonna have a couple of these crackers from, these are my Costco crackers. I counted out five because they are a little high in carb, even though they're keto friendly. All right, dinner on Monday night, sauteed some spinach with um, some garlic and then ended up putting some cheese. There's that turkey meatloaf. It was all right. And mashed potatoes for the rest of the family. And there's my plate with the turkey meatloaf and the spinach. I wanted to put the spinach in the meatloaf, but I was afraid of the rebellion that would happen. But it was all right. I'm feeling a little hungry, a little early. It's Tuesday about 11. I'm going to have a little snack. Got this in my keto crate. I'm going to try it out. Hi, guys. It is Tuesday, and I'm at work, and it's time for lunch. So let's see what I brought for lunch today. All right, I am bringing my lunch. I'm really loving bringing my lunch to work. And I've got a couple tried and true friends here. Um, I threw this cheese stick in after before I decided to grab this box of cheese. It's just been sitting since like Christmas. I know that's pretty gross, but New Year's more likely, but anyway, I might eat some. I'm gonna finish it and throw it away today. Eat some of it. I'm not gonna eat all of it, but anyway, I have my yogurt. I have some turkey lunch meat, granola for my yogurt, and in here I have, in here, in my little pouch, I have my little Parmesan Everything with the bagel crisps. So this is lunch. I will not eat both of these cheeses. I will probably only eat this. I'll put this away. And you saw I already had the peanuts, which were amazing. They were really good. Got to go fill up my water. Got to get this girl going. Got to fill her up and enjoy my lunch. And dinner is Taco Tuesday with some Quest protein chips. A little taco salad. And it was exactly what I needed. Hi, it is Wednesday and it's lunchtime, and I decided that I was going to order lunch today. So let's see what I got. What do you think I got? Let's see if you're right. If you guessed Chipotle, you were correct. That's what I have for lunch today. So they have a new cauliflower rice, and this could either go very well or very badly. So let's find out. Okay, here's how it looks. We got, there's that rice. I got the carne asada guacamole sour cream and cheese it's the right order so that's good let's find out how it tastes i'll let you guys know all right so here had a couple bites and here's what i can tell you it it's not bad and it definitely adds that layer of flavor if you were missing that lime cilantro flavor from rice it definitely adds that lime flavor which is really nice it's a nice little layer doesn't really have the texture of rice, but we already know this from cauliflower rice. This is nothing new. So it adds, if you really miss that lime flavor, I would say get it, but I don't think it adds anything other than that extra layer of flavor. It's not bad. I'm going to finish it. It's good. It's a chipotle bowl, but it does change the texture just a little bit. So it bulks it out a little bit. So I would say try it and then make your own decision if you like it or not, but I give it a thumbs up. Good job, chipotle. And here is that dinner, um, paprika chicken. It's just a chicken thigh with some seasoning. And it's like a cauliflower risotto sort of thing. I put some cream in there and some cheese, and it was amazing. Highly recommend this. Happened. I forgot to film my lunch, but I had this Cobb salad from Chick-fil-A for lunch. And here is dinner on Thursday, beef and broccoli. It was so good, so good, so good, so good. And there it is. That's what I had for lunch. Dinner. That was dinner. All right, so those are my meals for this week. 
I hope they, I'm really enjoying bringing my lunch. That has been um, a great, um, a great addition to my meal plans. And so I'm enjoying the variety and because I get kind of tired. I did buy Chipotle this week and get Chick-fil-A today. And I'm getting kind of tired of the same old, same old. So I really like the yogurt. I really do like some of the choices that I have when I prepare and bring my lunch. I can eat. There's more variety of what I can eat for lunch. So I'm really enjoying that. And um, I haven't tried those dressings yet that I bought in my um, food haul video, which was on one Monday that I aired on Monday. I haven't tried any of those dressings yet and any of the salads. So that will probably come next Friday. So check back next Friday to see how these dressings go. I have a big shopping this weekend. I'm gonna to go to a couple different stores. So make sure you come back on Monday to see my food haul for this week and my menu plan to see what I'm planning for next week. I got some really cool menu ideas that I'm gonna plan. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. As always, I would love for you to join me on the journey. Please ring that bell and subscribe so you get notifications every time I post. Give me a big thumbs up. And leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know. Um, oh, you may have noticed I didn't um, do my carb cycling. I didn't, or excuse me, carb manager. I didn't do my carb manager um, logins in the video. It's a little bit of work to do that. So if it's not a benefit to you, I just cut it out. But if you really want to see the carb count for my days, I will put it back in next week. Just let me know in the comments down below. Which meal that I ate this week was your favorite? Let me know. All right, guys, have a great week. Have a wonderful life, a wonderful week being the awesome person that you are. Until next week, I want you to remember to love one another, but most importantly, you love yourself because you are a pretty awesome person. All right, bye-bye.